it's, I think it's an amazing time for surfing. Yeah. Um, like I feel that way about what we're doing with the podcast. It's, there would have never been an inroad for us 10 and 15 years ago, you know, but through technology and the democratization of that yeah. and direct access to the audience and all that. But meanwhile, there's been an upending of the legacy brands as well, both for media and clothing. And so they've lost all their market share and um, we're kind of the last, now there's all these creatives kind of just creating. And there's also a bunch of wayward talent, which is perfect for you guys. Yeah. You know, the disbanding of Hurley essentially leaves very talented, um, experienced people available. And I'm sure some of them go and work for big companies that are not in the surf brand, but it also allows for this opportunity for these kind of things to take all of that to experience and yeah, and do it efficiently, smarter, yeah. cleaner, all that stuff. I think the other thing that I've noticed, um, we've been sort of going to see shops and doing road trips. Yeah. Um, I've heard this a few times um, that if you're a hard goods rep right now, you're really busy. And you used to be sort of like the guy like, oh, yeah, you know, so-and-so's here. You know, go look at the futures box or the, f yeah, whatever, whatever. Right. But when you come in, you're a rock star right now. And, you know, the we've all experienced it. The lineup is more uh, more busy. Um, I was up at Timmy Patterson's right now. Their business is rocking. Um, Italo was in town. Super neat. Um, but just it's a, it, the excitement and energy about, you know, about participating in the sport, but not even just the sport, just the, like, getting out there and surfing. I mean, we're sitting here today in, you know, these beautiful surfboards all around us. Um, everybody just wants to, I mean, I, I don't want to sound cheesy, but just get out there and, like, do they're doing things. Um, and I think it was already, like, I think the pandemic had basically taken things that would have taken three to five years to happen. And it just made it happen in an instant. Totally. And this transformation from just going, Hey, yeah, kids are still looking at their phones and stuff like that. And they're still playing baseball and soccer. They're not stopping those sports and those behaviors, but they are engaging in being in the ocean and around friends in a different way. Um, and it's not just kids. It's, it's sort of across the board totally. um, is what we've seen. And so, um, it is really a fun time. 